everyone, it's me, Peach Pet Paradise, and today's video is Safe Foods and Foods to be Fed in Moderation for Rats. Starting with fruits. So the following fruits are apples, apricots, bananas, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, black currants, gooseberries, cranberries, cherries, grapes, purple grapes are believed to help prevent cancer in rats, plums without stones, Sharon fruit, pears, peaches, raisins, dates, currants, prunes, pineapples, papayas, mango for females only as these are citrus fruits which males cannot have. Polymo for females only, as again, this is citrusy. Pomegranate is citrusy, so again, only for females. Nectarines. Watermelon. Strawberries and coconuts. Now going on to vegetables. So the following vegetables are broccoli, cucumber, curly kale, green beans, Butternut squash, cauliflower, fresh corn, romaine lettuce, asparagus, aubergines, bamboos, bean sprouts, bok choy, broad beans canned or cooked, Brussels sprouts, celeriac, celery, chicory, courgette, cress, Dandelion leaves, melon, garlic, sugar snaps, Jerusalem, artichokes, radish, bacillus, parsnips, peas, frozen or fresh, olives, peppers in all colours, potatoes, rocket, parsley, mushrooms, pumpkin, Cooked, Savoy cabbages, spring cabbages, spring onions, spinach, swede, beetroot, sweet peppers, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, turnips, water chestnuts, water cress, and sugar snap peas. Going on to beans and pulses. So the following beans and pulses are chickpeas soaked, canned or cooked, calamelty beans, kidney beans cooked, azuki beans, cashews cooked and soybeans. And lastly, foods fed in moderation and I'm going to explain why. So the following foods fed in moderation are carrots. They are high natural sugars and too much given commonly is not healthy for rats, which is why it's best given now and again. Avocados. These are very fattening, also the pit, rind, skin and leaves are toxic, so avoid any parts of the avocado that even touches those parts. But these are very helpful and good for sick rats, needing to gain weight. Bread. Bread can expand in rats' throats when swallowing, causing them to choke. So when given any bread to rats, make sure it's given in very small amounts. Dried corn. This contains fungal contaminants which reacts with rats' stomachs. Then that can lead to liver cancer later on in rats' lives. So make sure this is fed very, very sparingly. Oranges. These are highly citrusy fruits, so are very acidic and if given commonly can cause too much acid in rats' stomachs, which can then cause stomach pains. So don't feed this so often. Also, the white part on the peeling and the outer layer on the peeled orange is harmful to male rats, but it seems to be safe for female rats. Kiwis. These are also very citrusy fruits, so again too much acids in rats' stomachs can cause stomach pains, so feed this now and again. Lettuce. This doesn't really offer them that much nutrition, which is why it's best fed in moderation. Leeks. Again, don't have much nutrition, so it's best to stick with the other greens. Soy-based cheese. 
As rats are lactose intolerant, which means they cannot have any dairy products, cheese contains milk, which is dairy, but the soy-based one has none of this in, so is safe. But it's always best to feed this in moderation. Yogurt. Now this is dairy, and because most rats are lactose intolerant, they can be sensitive to this, so only give a little bit now and again, as a very rare treat. Hard-boiled eggs. These are a great source of protein and especially helpful for pregnant rats providing more proteins and fats, but these should not become part of the daily diet and only as a treat. Cereals. They contain a high amount of sugar which is very fattening and unhealthy for rats, so again, not so often. Dog treats like dog bones. Low protein levels in dog treats and food should be at or below 18%. It's best not to feed this too often though, as too much protein can cause skin and health problems, as well as damaging their kidneys. Low protein dog food. Again, make sure it's at 18% or below. This should be given now and again to prevent giving too much protein. Chicken bones. Some people confuse this when it comes to dogs and cats with these bones, and how they splinter and cause them to choke. However, rats and noras, they chew part of the bone off bit by bit and they do not crush and splinter like dogs and cats do. These have great benefits for rats and are actually very They're healthy. They're good for their teeth and make great chews. The bones contain a good source of calcium, which rats can intake, but do contain a high amount of protein, so should be fed sparingly. Onion and especially red onions. As rats' stomachs are very acidic, onions and red onions in particular are highly acidic so when rats eat this the onions react with rat stomachs which cause stomach pains which is why it's best fed in little bits now and again. Lastly chocolate. Avoid milk chocolate as that contains a high amount of fat and milk. Most rats are lactose intolerant so this would not be safe for them. Only use dark chocolate when necessary. For example a rat with a respiratory problem, dark chocolate can help distress rats on going through this. So that's the video and they are safe foods and fed in moderation for rats. I will also be doing unsafe foods for rats sometime in the future so look out for that. Hope you found this helpful and enjoyed it. Any comments or questions just leave them down below. If you like our channel and our videos then go subscribe and if you found this helpful and enjoyed it then don't forget to hit that like button and we'll see you next time. Bye! Paradise and today's video is July Hamster Cage Tour.